This is Dark Monster Moon 87 here, Mr. Hack and Slash. And I got a lot to talk about. I'm excited about the fact that Ken's Rage 2 is finally out and everybody else has it. But unfortunately, in North America, not too many people have it. I wish they did have it, but I went online. There wasn't too many people, only the people that I know. And whoever else is on, if you all are on and you're from North America side, then um, hit me up on an inbox on my YouTube or my Twitter on direct message and just let me know. Give me your gamer tag because I got it for, where is it? It's right over here. Got it for Xbox. So, yeah. I will get it for the PlayStation 3, though. Everybody asks, oh, is it online? Yes, it's online. And it's online co-op and battle mode. So, that's the cover right there. For those of you. Hold on, that's a little glare, but. Move this back. There you go. Alright, so on top of that, Dynasty Warrior 7 Empires will be released the 26th. It's two days before Dynasty Warriors 8. Dynasty Warriors 8 will be released on the 28th. And Dynasty Warriors 7 Empires and Dynasty Warriors 8, they're PlayStation 3 exclusives right now. I haven't got told anything from Tecmo Koei stating the fact that they might release the Xbox 360 version. For both of those games. If they do, I will let everyone know. And I won't leave you all in the dark. Because that's just how I am. And I wouldn't do that to nobody. Now, unfortunately also, what I wanted to talk about was the fact that there's certain people that on social networks that, whether well, it's Twitter, Facebook, there's a couple of social networks that uh you know i try to put my channel out there and promote and not just promote neither i try to get to know people and people that have youtube channels or anything that has to do with gaming or anything close to it anime any anything that i'm interested in i try to get to know other people and try to help them and everything and i got these people that I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to have to say it unfortunately they're probably going to be watching this video and they're probably going to go damn it's fucked up well you know what tough luck I'm sorry to tell you but these people are using my name and telling my brother Jersey boy and a couple of other people it's, it's a couple of people I could I could name but I don't want to put their names out there for the simple fact that you know, I I didn't really mention this vlog about this situation going on. Only a few people knew about this vlog and everything that were real close to me. So, to make a long story short, there's a couple of people that they use my name. They go, oh, we good friends. They honestly don't even know me. They, they, they haven't even known me for like a week. They, they followed me on Twitter. Or whatever the case may be, whatever site they were on, they, they seen me or whatever. And they said, hey, can I get a follow back? Hey, can you sub me? Can you support my channel? And this is the thing that kills me. The thing that kills me is that you're asking me to support you and everything, right? So I support you. And you were only active for that hour that you were talking to me. So basically, you only wanted to conversate with me for the simple fact that you seen that I support all these channels, help promote all these channels. So you're basically conversating with me with that. And you're telling other people that we're cool and everything when you don't even know me from a can of paint. So I would appreciate it if all of you that are doing that, stop the bullshit. Seriously, stop it. Just stop it for real. Like, give props to when it's due. If somebody's helping you out, shout them out. I'm tired, seriously. Like, I'm tired of, I'm liking a, a, a whole bunch of people's videos because they're DMing me. They, they're, if you don't know what the hell a DM is, 
I'm trying to look at this fucking camera. Because I, I just... I got a new gaming setup. I just bought a new table and everything. Eventually, I'll show my gaming setup and everything like that. It's not in the same spot where I usually have the vlogs and everything. But eventually, for the vlogs, I, I might just pick a spot when I start making a vlog videos and everything like that about gaming and etc. That I have to... You know, just my thoughts that, that I have gathered. So, to make a long story short with this shit... What I'm trying to get at and also give advice to all, all the channels out there, whether you're a gaming channel, whether whatever channel you may be, there is grimy people. What I mean by grimy people, I mean like people that are that are so full of shit that they tell you on a website, they go, I'm very supportive. I'll promote your channel. I promote people. I think about everybody else except me. Now, I'm not going to knock everybody because there's certain people that say that shit and they do it. So, shout out to those people that do it. But the people that say it and don't do it, you're a bullshitter. And not for nothing, not for, oh, whoa, excuse me for that. <laughs> not for nothing, but I can't stand bullshitters. I can't stand bullshitters. I can't stand somebody that lies to me. Like, I, I that, that's just like... Two of, two of the main things, like if you're not a loyal person and everything, don't come at me trying to pretend to be my friend. That's another thing. I, I had a couple of people that they haven't talked to me in months, in months, and they start the conversation off with, hey, how you doing? I'm like, I'm good. Uh, how's your family? I'm like, are oh, they chilling and everything? You know, my, my daughter, she's getting bigger and... Uh, Every, everything's fine. So what's up? Oh, you want to know what's up? This video right here, man. Why don't you hit the like button? Tell me what you think about it. And then the whole conversation, like after I supported them and everything, and I hit the like button, and they go, so what you think about it? I'm not going to lie. When people do that shit, it annoys the fuck out of me because it makes me feel like you don't really want to fucking conversate with me. You just want me to hit the like button on your video. You could have skipped all that conversation. How's your family doing and all that shit? And you could have just said, yo, can you do me a favor and hit this like button? Because nobody's really watching my video. Be honest with me and be honest with your fucking self. Like, I know people that... <laughs> I know people that don't lie. They have... Way more subs than me. And they're asking me for help. And, and I don't mind helping. But be honest. Don't. Don't. <laughs> don't direct message me. Because you're afraid that everybody else on Twitter. Or inbox me on YouTube. Talking about yo can you help me. I can name so many big channels. Big. I'm talking huge. Thousands of subs. That do this shit. I'm not, I'm not gonna put you on blast. I I should though. I really fucking should because you guys are pissing me off, yo. You really you really are, yo. Like you you guys you guys talk all this shit on Twitter and all these other sites and then on YouTube you don't show that support, yo. So you're full of shit. So what I gotta say for y'all is fuck you. Straight like that, yo. No hard feelings. Fuck you. Um, another thing that I got to talk about also is the fact that there's people out there that they, they tell everybody it's, it's kind of the same, but it's a different scenario. Now check this out. They tell everybody, yo, I support your channel and everything. And I support everybody else's channel. I'm a very active sub. Now what an active sub is, and I can give you all the definition. I give you the shortest definition possible. An active sub is somebody that they're active on their channel. They're uploading videos and everything. They're getting support from support <clears throat> from tons of people, and they're supporting you also. Like if they sub you every time you upload something, or if you had an old upload or whatever, they're supporting you. And I know a few people. Fuck a few. Fuck a few. There's a couple of them. That they're from different states or different uh, countries or whatever the fuck the case may be. Whatever. And they tell everybody on a social network. They, they, they'll leave YouTube alone. But they'll tell everybody, listen, I support everybody. Every type of nationality, everybody. 
let me make an example. Let's say if I had, which I got friends everywhere. I got friends all over the damn world. But let's say if I had, let me make an example. If I had friends in New York, right? And they're checking out my YouTube and they're supporting me. And I tell everybody on a social network, like every other social network and uh, forum, whatever. I tell them, yo, man, I support everybody. And the only people I support, like I, I, I hit a like one time when I first subbed this person. And after that, I just stopped hitting the like. I stopped faving everything. And I'm just faving and liking all my friends shit. All my friends. And I got like 800 subs. But yet I support everybody. Now, isn't that kind of bullshit? It kind it kind of is. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's bullshit. And there's a couple of people that do this shit. Like I had this one person that I I I had on sub. I was tired of it. The person was from the UK, right? Shout to shout to everybody at the, at the UK, by the way, because I got tons of fucking friends from the UK. That they they're cool as fuck. And they, you know, they used to hang out with me where, where I'm at over here. So shout out to you all. And there was this one dude, yo, like I never forget it. That he goes, yo, I'll support your channel. Like he was he was really, you know, hyping me to fuck up. And I wasn't really too hyped about it because I was like, hmm, a lot of people do this. Let me check to see what happens, right? So to make a long story short, the person hit the like button on a video one time, and after that, they don't talk to me on a social network. M mind you, they're followed by me and everything. I just unfollowed this person today. I unfollowed them and I unsubbed them a while ago because of the simple fact that how the fuck are you going to tell me all this shit? You're inboxing me, dude. You fucking inboxed me and told me, can you promote my channel? But yet... You know what I'm saying? After a while, when somebody's doing something and trying to help you, you gotta help. You gotta help out. You gotta help out. You gotta. You gotta give back. You gotta. You gotta do a good deed or something. You. You can't just have everybody keep supporting you and you're not giving back a motherfucking thing. You think that people are gonna not see that shit after a while? You. You think people are gonna be like, "Yeah, man, you know what? This guy's cool as hell." On social networks, everybody. Is fucking nosy. Everybody. There's some people that stalk other people's social networks. And there's a shitload of you that stalk my shit. But <laughs> and it's the truth. And I find it out. You want to know why? Because your friends have big ass mouths. And they talk their ass off. And they gossip. And I'm like. And I'm just sitting in the sidelines. And I'm quiet. I'm like. This is happening? Wow, and there's so many of you, and I feel like I feel like this is a like I feel like I'm back in the hood, right? Because in a hood, you could tell when somebody's a, a pretend fucking friend because they'll give you a dap, they'll be like, "Oh, what's good," and they'll handshake you and everything, right? And then after that, when you leave, they start talking shit about you behind your back. They're like, "Man, fuck that dude. I, I don't give a fuck about him. He's a piece of shit." And that's when you're doing better for yourself. You're not fucking up. Like, they want you to fuck up. When the success starts coming, a, a load of fucking hate comes with it. A load of fucking haters. A, a load of people that pretend to support you. And they're in that hater bracket. And I say that shit because haters, most of the time, are pretend people. A person that hates on you is a person that wishes most of the time they could either be you or they wish... You know, their life was better or whatever. And you can change all that shit. A, a, a hater can change all that shit. But you know what it is? They're just too fucking lazy and want everything in the palm of their hand. So, pretty much, that's another thing. Like, I feel like if you're going to support, support the world. If you're, on a, if you're on a gaming channel, support. I'm trying to look at this fucking camera. I'm sorry, people. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is. I got to get used to this setup right here. But support the world. Don't just support your area and, and, and the people in your area that sub to you. And you got like a 
like 2,000 subs, let's just say. I'm making an example. You got like 2,000 subs and you're only supporting the people in your area. And all these people, they support you, right? And they're from different areas and they're supporting you, giving you likes. After a while, they're going to be like, damn, this person don't like none of my videos. Nothing. Because this shows up on Twitter. Like when you have it synced or anything for that matter. When you hit the like button, period, on a video, it shows up on Twitter. So... You know that I'm just letting all of you know those of you that don't really know that and don't have a channel like that or whatever like built up and everything excuse me it shows up on Twitter so I'm tired of that bullshit and what I gotta say about those people is if you're gonna be like that and and those of you that are new that are following me and and new that are sub to me if you're gonna be a pretend friend and only hit me up because I, I I make walkthroughs and everything, and you want to be online and and ask me, hey, did you hit the record button yet? Come on, let's go, man. I want to be a part of the walkthrough. That's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna be shouting too many people out neither. That shout out shit, I'm not I'm not fucking with that shit. You gotta earn it. You gotta earn my respect. You gotta earn a, a shitload of shit with me, man. I'm not. It, that's not going to happen. We're not going to be friends overnight. All my subs and everything, like most of them, they they know me. They actually have conversations with me through my inbox on my YouTube and everything. They don't just be like, hey, let me hit the like button. And I'm not going to talk to this person after that. Like like a lot of motherfuckers do on Twitter. You know what I'm saying no offense to you all. You know, I, I know everybody has a life. But there's some point. During the fucking week, you gotta be free. There, there really is. I don't, I don't give a fuck. Like if you got a job or not. This, this one point in your lifetime, during the week, that you gotta be free. Cause uh, those of you with a YouTube and all that shit, whatever the fuck you're doing, there's always a point in life that that you're gonna be free that week. If you're not free at all, then I give you the benefit of the doubt. But for those of you bullshitting, like, I also got to, oh, man, it's too much bullshit today. And and I got, I got a fucking headache because of it. I'm not going to lie. It gave me a headache because I got so, I got so angry because I, I just hate liars, yo. I, I hate them. I, I hate liars. I hate people that pretend to act like they're my friend. Just because they they want they want to use me as a stepping stool. You know what? Fuck you. You're not using me as a stepping stool to get where you got to go. You know what I'm saying? Like, act straight up. You need support. That's it. That's all. Show it in the tweets. Don't be scared of nothing, man. Like, if, you, if you're afraid that somebody's going to judge you, then you seriously got an issue that you need to handle with in your damn life. And another thing, which I'm, <laughs> I'm going to point out, too, because... Motherfucking people, they point out any little thing in a damn video to basically be like, oh, I know this. I wear hats, right? I wear them for the simple fact that I like it to match my clothes. <laughs> so I collect fitted hats and I, I just collect hats in general because I, I, love, I love to match. If that's a fucking problem, then shit. You know what I'm saying? It it is what it is, but that's that's my style. That's that's what I like. Sorry, but I'm a truthful person. You know what I'm saying? When somebody asks me for advice or anything for that matter, no matter where I'm at, like I said a couple of commentaries ago, but unfortunately, a lot of people sometimes don't fucking listen to them, and then there's a lot of people that do. So shout out to all of you that view my videos. Which I say vids for short. And people get offended about that. People get offended over some dumb shit. But that view my vids. And go yo. That walkthrough is badass. And yo I love your commentaries. You give advice and everything. And you talk about some real shit. You know what. That's how, that's how I. That's how I want my channel to be. Yo. I want to I wanna be known. As one of the coolest hack and slash gamers in the fucking world. And so far, that shit is happening, yo. And, and shout out 
to Tecmo Koei Europe for making a character for me. And <laughs> it was a Dynasty Warriors 7 Empire character that they that they customized and everything and create a warrior. And it was on Facebook and everything. And everybody was like, yo, they made a Dark Masamune. Is that you? Yep, that's me. <laughs> I'm I'm so honored. Thank you, Tecmo Koei Europe. I appreciate it. And shout out to all the Tecmo Koeis. Even Tecmo Koei North America, even though... You know that situation happened, but I'm still fighting to get that uh, that that PR that PR status and uh, and uh, also the CM status to be a community. To, ah, excuse me, <laughs> to be a community manager. Like I'm still like it, it is what it is. Though everybody calls me that already for Tecmo Kobe North America, so I'm proud of that already. I'm like okay, people. People look up to me and everything. You know your channel is awesome when somebody looks up to you. Not somebody, a lot of people. Not just somebody, a lot of people. They look up to you and they go, "Damn, yo, like you're you're such a you're such an inspiring person," and and you make me feel so welcome when I watch your videos and I'm so entertained by all your videos and whoever whoever dislikes you, wow, like. You're such a truthful person, and I and I love that about you. Like the the inboxes I get are crazy, man. Not crazy like in I'm psycho, but yeah, <laughs> but crazy like you know I can't believe this person told me this. This this is this is beautiful. Like when people look up to you and and they wanna they wanna be just like you type shit. And people, I, I had somebody that this person was in the hospital i never i never talked about this but shout out to that kid jason he's probably gonna be able like to watch this probably tomorrow he was in the hospital he still is in the hospital and he uh he broke his legs and he was on youtube and he seen my channel and he just got so happy he was like whoa these are my favorite games hack and slash and everything and Damn his commentaries, yo. He he's like he's a truthful person, yo. Like I, I love that. Like you can tell, like all your shit comes from the heart. And this person inboxed me and said, yo, like when I I had so much pain on my legs when they when they were broken and you know they were healing up while I was in the hospital. But when I seen your videos, that pain just went away. I was I was laughing. I was having a good time. And it was better than the, the TV at the hospital. So I was laughing my ass off, you know. And I'm like, wow. It, it was it was crazy, man. And I was I was happy about that. It's not the first time I got an <laughs> inbox from somebody from the hospital. But shout out to Jason, though. Thank thank you so much for that inbox, yo. Thank you. I'm, sh I'm shouting you out because you're a cool dude, man. Like, I... I wasn't expecting that inbox. I really wasn't, but I, I'm not gonna lie. I got kind of emotional because I'm like, you know, I, I I've been there and I've done that. I never broke my legs before, but I've been to the I've been to the hospital and and shit like that. And I had to stay there for a couple of months because of health conditions that were horrible. I had I had a near death experiences and it it sucked. You know, I had to stay in the hospital for about six months and everything. And I got told that I wasn't going to live till I was like 18. And after that, it was it. And now I'm 26 years old. It's fucking crazy, right? I got told also that I couldn't make a child and now I have a daughter. So it's, it's a fucking blessing. And, and I appreciate every bit of blessings that I that I receive. I, I, I appreciate all you subs, I got 600 subs. I'm about to have 630 subs. I, I almost I almost made what? I almost made 100 subs in not even a fucking week. <laughs> that shit is hot. <laughs> to me, that's, that's awesome, yo. But the other big-ass channels are like, whoa, who gives a fuck? I give a fuck. So shout out to you all, man. And uh, honestly, like, that, that shit that... that that people pull basically or whatever. Sorry, man. I'm just fucking. I'm I'm happy, man. I'm I'm happy with certain shit, but there's certain shit that I just had to get off my chest and let these people know. So, 
you know, I was writing tweets and shit like that for everybody to see, but only a couple of people seeing them. A couple of people was probably like, man, fuck this guy. But you know what? I'll make a video about it instead. So you can watch me, and you know for a fact I'm not fucking around. I'm dead ass serious with your eyes. Don't use my name to get ahead. Don't do that. And if you're going to do that, hit me up first. As a as a man, I'm, I'm talking to the dudes. Hit me up as a man, yo. Pull me to the side and tell me, listen, man, like, I, I know about you and, and I know that a lot. You're known. You're well, yo, listen, I'm well known anywhere anywhere I'm at. I, I, I get that way because I'm a truthful person. I'm not... And I'm not a, I'm not a bullshit ass fucking person. I don't pretend to be somebody I'm not. I am who I am everywhere. That's how that's how it should be, and that's how everybody should be. Honestly, another another piece of advice I gotta give, and this shit's gonna fuck people's head all up. But you know what? It's the fucking truth. Now, if you got a friend right you got a group of friends and one of your friends is a fucking rat and he talks shit to everybody like he talks shit about not just to everybody but he talks shit about people but tells you guys that shit and you're his friends what makes you think that he's not also talking shit about you too like why the fuck are you gonna chill with somebody that talks shit about everybody to you guys and then you guys think it's all fucking cool and funny. But what happens then when he was talking shit about you behind your back? That's not a loyal friend, yo. A loyal friend doesn't try to shut somebody down. Doesn't try to shut somebody's fucking channel down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, doesn't talk shit about somebody or hates on somebody. Or if anything, they try to be better than that person. They don't go to their friends and go, yo, man, this person's fucked up. And you know what? I'm about to I'm about to shut down their success and everything. Yo, I'm gonna shut down their channel. Or I'm gonna I'm gonna shut down their 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 style on, on a game or something. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna kill their streak real real quick. That's some hater shit, yo. And and don't get me wrong, haters are good, but to a certain degree, there's a difference between haters and a fucking rat. A rat, yo, like rats, the, the the snitching shit, cut that shit out and stop pretending like you're the victim when you know damn well everybody else knows that you're a liar. So if you're in a circle with loyal friends and you have a friend that talks shit about everybody to you guys, he's most likely 99% of the time talking shit about you too. That's the honest fucking truth. And if you chill with somebody like that, that's basically letting me know that you're fucked up also in the damn head. Well, all right. Um, another thing. Let me get back to my Tecmo Kobe spirit. Um, Dynasty Warriors 8. <laughs> Did you guys see the producers? Well, one of the producers... Playing Dynasty Warriors 8. If you guys have not seen that, let me know and I will send you the link. It was fucking epic. The dude called the horse and was walking. While he was walking, he got on a horse. He did some Zorro shit and jump spin type shit on a fucking horse. And I was like, God damn. Yeah, <laughs> I was so fucking hype. I, I I cannot wait. The game comes out February twenty eighth, ladies and gentlemen. Well, this is Dark Master Moon eighty seven, Mister Hack and Slash. <laughs> and um, thank you, just thank you all for watching and everything. And uh, hopefully, I hope everybody understands. And if they don't understand my point of view or whatever, then uh, I don't know what the fuck to tell you. But that's just. What's on my mind and how to let it out. <laughs> Peace.